Hello. Hello everybody, welcome to the Kinesthetic channel. My name is Kinga and if you don't know, I'm a pharmacist and a cosmetologist at the same time. And today I thought I would show you how I do a facial toner at home. Let's go. Why I decided to make a facial toner at home? Simply because I've been searching for something uh, at drugstores and I couldn't find anything that would suit my needs like fully. I I'm I am a picky girl, I <laughs> admit that. But I've got quite sensitive skin, it's rather dry and gets rather easily. I wanted something that would be soothing and calming and of course moisturizing. Then I thought that come on, you've got the degrees, you can do it on your own. So I bought the ingredients that I wanted specifically and the recipe is right here. As you can see the formula is quite simple but it includes two of my holy grails, like two key ingredients, aloe juice and the panthenol. The formula includes lavender water and this is where we start. I'm gonna do the water myself right here and you can see I even got a lab coat for a show <laughs> let's get into the smart mode now <laughs> it doesn't work wow all the lights are in my glasses <laughs> great production home production okay to make the lavender water on my own, I searched my notes. So I found a recipe for aromatic water with mint essential oil and I'm gonna modify it a little bit. There's one thing I want to mention. When you design a cosmetic formulation, it applies to pharmacy as well. You make it in grams. So forget about milliliters and stuff like that. Every ingredient you have, whether it's liquid or solid, you just weigh it in grams. And for cosmetics, it's usually for planned for 100 grams. So it's like percent, so you get the percentage of each ingredient. Since it's a cosmetic product, we don't have to be as exact as for a pharmaceutical product. And the proportions, are here I'm going to make it twice as much and my recipes like this I want to make it double so the amount of ingredients will be double easy smart how do we go about the aromatic water we will need this enough of this smarty pants I've got two grams of talc weighed out already, so this is no problem. The problem is here with the essential oil. How on earth do we get 0.2 grams at home? We don't have laboratory scale, very precise one, right? So it is quite simple actually because we can just count it. It is estimated that one drop of essential oil is about 0.02 grams. So to get 0.2, we just get 10 drops of essential oil. Easy, easy. You would get it here and counting drops. One, two, ten. Thank you. And here we go. I'm gonna mix it for just, I don't know, some time, <laughs> a few minutes, should be enough. We just want the talk to absorb the essential oil. Oh, the smell is real good here. I must admit, Nobody does it this way in pharmacies anymore. This is something historic, rather. 
I feel like doing it on my own the each step it gives the product a special feeling it's like I made it I made it this is how pharmacy looks by the way we've got it so now I will transfer the talc mixed with essential oil to this bottle Everything smells like lavender. All done. I would transfer 200 milliliters of water that has been previously boiled and then cooled down to like 40, 40 degrees. Why do we do it? After boiling, we get rid of oxygen that could possibly harm our product and we want it to last as long as possible, right? Right. It has to be cooled down because if the temperature is too high, the essential oil will evaporate. This is what we want to avoid as well. So, I've got the water here. It's cooled down nicely and I'm just gonna become a human shaker for about 10 minutes. Yeah. <sighs> this is what it is. Pharmacy. So, explanation time. Why do we do that? We want the oil that is on the tug to get into water as much as possible. I could as well put it like for a day or two and wait, but why? Why wait? I can shake it. Let's get the music. not included in our recipe. We have to get rid of that. That's why we have another bottle and this baby. And now we have to filter. I don't have a typical like lab filter here so for this purpose good old-fashioned cotton wool should be just fine. I tried before, one layer like this was okay, so the water came out clear and it didn't take an eternity. It will sure take some time. I will just let it drop down a bit. Oh, 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 oh lavender! This is lavender! It's much clearer, slightly opalizing, but that's the way it should be. Like this, the trickiest part of the whole process is over! And congratulations if you've made your first aromatic water. So now, 
the easy part, which is mixing the active ingredients. We've got the panthenol, 10 grams, glycerin, 10 grams, niacinamide, 6 grams, and aloe juice, 54. 54 grams. Each of the ingredients is absolutely needed. The panthenol, as I said, it's for skin soothing, regeneration. It also helps with moisture. Holy grail, favorite list. Great ingredient, it could be in every cosmetic if you ask me. Uh, glycerin, this is a humectant, so it will keep the water on your skin. Niacinamide, great for hyperpigmentation, although it's much milder than acids and vitamin A, aka retinol. It really worked on me before when I had acne, hyperpigmentations. Good job very very mild for the skin and aloe juice what can i say it is aloe juice i love it i will use this beautiful pot pot or whatever here in the bottle i weighed uh, 120 grams of my lavender water and let me tell you it really smells like lavender it's like very huh, nice smell. <laughs> okay, let's go. I want to see how well everything dissolves. I will start from the niacinamide, six grams, it will give me three percent in a solution. Going right here, and you have to remember with this kind of essence that is water-based, of course. You can only use ingredients that are water-soluble. Like that. It's enough to mix it like this. Yep. Done. It's a solution now. The panthenol. Yo. It's quite thick as you can see. Just let's mix it in. Something left here. Now glycerin. Going right in. Mix. <laughs> it got my fingers. <laughs> and the final step aloe juice. Bam. So complicated, you know? Believe it or not, our facial essence is ready right here, right into the bottle. Yep. Ta da! We did it. The facial essence is ready to use. Listen to me a, a little more. Because this essence has no preservants, I assume you don't have it at home like that, it should be stored in the fridge so it can last, say, a month. It's a very simple formula, but all the ingredients were chosen especially for moi. Um, you can change the essential oil to some other that you like. It gives a smell, it's an active ingredient on its own as well. It was definitely fun to do it at home. I've never really prepared a full product at home because I did it in university, of course. We had, we had a lab. 
that was properly equipped. And let me tell you that over the five year course on cosmetology, that was my favorite subject. If you'd like to see something more about cosmetic like ingredients or formulations, let me know, I'll try to prepare that for you. And uh, thank you for being here and see you again. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha